Jared Mees trying to make history. Indian motorcycle. He could clinch the championship today. With the other championships that I have, I've never clinched it early. I've always had a mathematical shot at losing it at the end of the year. I left last year very bitter. I got beat, my hands down got beat. To first be a winner, you have to hate to lose, and I hate losing. Getting on the new bike, getting on the same equipment as Brian Smith, I came to every race more focused than I ever did and put way more into my program physically and mentally than I ever have. Things have been shaking up massively here. Jared Mees has been leading this race, and more pressure on Jared Mees to try to get this done. When I was uh, seeing the five to go, and I looked back and I had a pretty good lead. I went, all right, there's a red flag going to come out. There is no way that I'm gonna get handed this championship. Boom, as soon as I started thinking, there was a red. And then there was multiple reds and you tense up more because the track was definitely getting drier and slipperier and harder to ride. Fortunately, we were able to get good starts multiple times. Knees perfect on the entry to that one. This might make all the difference. Jared Mees is going to win the race and the 2017 American Flat Track Twins Championship. I'll be honest, I never thought I'd come into the season winning, you know, nine wins and clinching the championship with two races to go. We were able to just put it together this year, week after week and race after race. Big hats off to my crew, obviously, because they were able to provide me uh, good running motorcycles that lasted every race 25 laps. and and we were dominant at every race. It's the thrill of victory. There's nothing better. That's why we do this. We come to win races, and uh, but most importantly, we come to win the championship. Winning it, clinching it when we did, it was awesome. It was a big thrill for everybody. I give all the credit to my team, my wife, Indian Motorcycle. It was no doubt a team joint effort. Born and raised in Pennsylvania, East Coast Pennsylvania, but never actually raced Williams Grove. To go there in front of my friends and family and see people that I went to high school with show up there and clinch that championship and also win the race, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better moment for myself. I was able to give Hayden, my daughter, and my wife, Nicole, the victory lap in my hometown race. It's been great being able to be here and support them and bring our daughter with us, you know, that's now four months old. He always says, you know, that's his good luck charm. So it's really cool that we get to incorporate her into our lifestyle and be able to support him like we do. In my opinion, there's nobody else like Jared. This year with the Indian, it's just came together like a story. Just our whole team gels so well. It's been a record-breaking year for myself on, on multiple levels. It was a lot of firsts for me, a lot of firsts for Indian Motorcycle. The scary thing for me is that I don't know if I can ever repeat such a historical fun year. You know, it's almost like, man, anything less than what I did this year is gonna be a little bit disappointing. But at the end of the day, we did it, and not many riders and racers have ever done what we've done. We'll go back next year and try to do the best we can and try to hit our marks.